Okay, I am going to install an optic on the Glock 40 MOS. This process would be exactly the same for all of the MOSs, which are available on the Glock 34, the Glock 35, the Glock 41, and the Glock 40. The latter of which is this, and is the only new model that includes this. The others existed before, and this is just an added option. So the first thing we want to do is remove the little screws that are holding this top plate on. They remove with a little star, basically a little star wrench. Okay, and then this lifts right off. This is a steel plate, tenor for coated or coated with whatever Glocks are coated with. So we will put that and those screws somewhere safe. Okay, so you can see once you remove that plate, you just got a little cutout area, basically a notched area with some threaded holes. So then you find the plate that is going to fit your optic, and there are four to choose from. So I'm going to be mounting a Burris optic on here because that's what the Just an Opinion channel budget <laughs> allows, unlike some of you rich channels out there that are going to be putting trigicons and aim points and things like that. All right, so you do that. Then you take two screws that are smaller, and by smaller basically I mean shorter, and you mount the plate. There's already a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads. So, just get it started here. Get the next one started. Then I'm going to switch to, this is the tool that Glock provides, it's okay. I'm going to switch to something that will finish the job a little more quickly. Okay, you want this snug. This is a moving part. And from what I'm told, the 10 millimeter round does produce some recoil. So you want that snug, but you don't want to torque it. All right, so that is mounted. And now we can mount our optic, which again, in this case, is a Burris. Okay, so take a short screw, so we can get it started in here. I want to be really careful starting these screws because those are very fine thread machine screws. And the holes they have to go into are very finely threaded and machined. So the last thing we want to do is strip them or damage the screws. So I just use, you know, extremely light pressure, thumb and forefinger on the tool. And if it doesn't turn free, you know, I'm looking into a problem. So just want to make sure we get, again, just get those started with our little hand tool. Before we get a larger tool and start cranking on it. Okay, that looks good. So now I will take the larger screwdriver. And just snug it.
There you go. Just snug. We're not torquing it. So, there you go. That's about as easy as it is. Or maybe that's about as difficult as it is. Let me see if I can... There you go. I don't know if you'll... You can see that. There we go. So now we have a red dot. And we are ready. Take it out and play with it. Might have to zero this optic in a little bit. This optic has already been in use on my Smith & Wesson M&P Core Performance Center 40L. And it's zeroed in pretty good for that. So it may already be decent. We'll find out. We'll get it out and shoot it. Get a talon grip on this thing. And I think it's going to be ready to go see some range time.